call this pro okay we're gonna call this project make it fit in i don't know why i'm calling it make it fit in i think it fits though actually when you see what i'm doing so first of all you need to choose an image of yourself ideally take an image of yourself or have somebody at your house take an image um with just you in the image and then we're going to crop everything else out of that image so if you have some images of, of you already use those if you don't for, try to find somebody to take an take one of you or use a timer on your phone if all of that fails then you can use an image of someone else but once you get your image you're gonna go to remove dot bg so in order to get your image there you need to do a couple things you need to add it to your google drive or add it to your computer if you've already taken it um <clears throat> or if you take it from your phone you need to get it onto your uh your chromebook into your google drive and then you can upload it or if uh, you have it online you can use a url from that image or you can download it and then re-upload it here on remove.bg so anyway i'm going to upload an image from my computer and I am going to use this image. And what this does, it's kind of a crude way to remove the background on an image. And if you notice, it removed most of the background, but it left some artifacts here. So the original picture was me sitting in a room with, uh, with some people playing guitar, and it removed most of those for me, but not all of them. So in order to get rid of the rest of that stuff, it's pretty easy, you just click on edit, you can do all sorts of things in edit if you want. You can make it blurred background, whatever you want. I am going to click the erase tool and you can change your brush size. I'm going to do this really quickly. You should take your time doing it, but I'm going to erase the stuff I don't want on here. So I, again, I'm doing this for the sake of time. I'm doing this quickly, but I would change my brush size and zoom in and do this more precise if I were you. Take your time. But for me, this is gonna be good enough for now. But again, you can change your brush size and if for some reason you go burn, oh, I want that back. You made a mistake, you can hit restore, go back in there and bring it back, all right? So when you're done, you hit download. It's gonna download it to your Chromebook or whatever device you're on. Then you're going to come back to the slideshow. You're going to add a background. And in this case, I want a, uh, and, and you can use whatever background you want. I've already looked, I want a stage with a crowd. Uh, and I'm going to just choose this one because I like the way that one looks. And then I'm going to hit done. And then I am going to take my downloaded image and just drag it into here. If it didn't show up down there as a download, which it usually does, uh, you can go uh, insert image and add it from your Chromebook. And I'm gonna make that fit. So now it looks like I am there playing in front of that crowd. So we're gonna make your image fit into some other scene. I will have some other images on here, uh, some ideas of what to do. You can take your image and you can make yourself look really big and add that into an image um, so you look really big. You can just put yourself in a different situation or you can make yourself look teeny tiny small uh, like you're in a jungle, but you're really just down in your grass. So again, the first thing you do is take an image of yourself you could use the same image over and over again if you want, but you're gonna end up doing five, at least five different images <clears throat> with five different types of things I'm gonna give you. Um, and then you can do more if you want to. Once you get into it, know how to do it, it's pretty quick and easy, but I could take this one image and do it into different, different places. But that's the idea. Check out the instructions on the slides and get to work.